Well, the first thing you want to do to make your batteries, your battery last longer in your little uh, CX-10 is to uh, keep it cool. And if you're going to be doing a lot of flying and charging and flying and charging, go get yourself a pack of wieners and take one of the wieners and cut a three-quarter inch slot in the middle of it that you can set that uh, you can set your quad down into. But first, wrap it with some clear plastic, and then uh, put it in the freezer. And then, when after you've flown the first time, we'll set it in that uh, frozen wiener while you charge it, and that will keep the battery cool and your battery life will last a lot longer. I had a quad, uh, a nano, uh, a blade nano, and I ruined a bunch of the batteries because I'd pull them out after flying and stick them right into the charger. And uh, they, they, their life span was very much shorter and the uh, discharge time became shorter. And so then I learned that you let them cool off before you charge them. That's why you see a lot of LiPo batteries looks like they're all puffed up because uh, charging gener overcharging generated that gas and it's a non there's no way you can uh, repair a battery like that okay so that's first hint trim control when you're using your phone you have trim down at the bottom uh, and up on the right hand side so if your quad takes off and wants to keep drifting to the right well then you adjust that lower right uh, trim control to the left and uh, if it wants to go forward or backwards, uh, you adjust the one along the right side. And if it wants to keep turning. Now, uh, that's if you're using your phone. But if you're using the transmitter, go get yourself one of these things. You can get it at Walmart or at the RV store. And uh, you can use this to uh, calibrate your, uh, your quad. Make, what you do is you find a nice level spot inside uh, wherever you're flying. I'm, this happens to be inside my shop in my uh, office and I find a nice level spot on a bookcase with that little device there and that's where I set my uh, quad uh, in order to calibrate it. You calibrate it by uh, moving both sticks down to the lower right hand corner and uh, wait a second or two and then the lights start to flash and it calibrates for level. When I first got mine um, it uh, it was level but we have hard floors and uh, it kept crashing on the floor so you can see here uh, that mine keeps wants, wanting to fly away from me. So the gyro inside has been damaged somehow and it wants to make it go frontwards uh, all the time. If I just if I use my normal level, that's what happens. So what I'm going what you're going to see here is I'm going to recalibrate it and bring it over and set it on a level spot, but uh, uh, I'm going to mechanically recalibrate it and you'll see what I use here. I'm picking it up off the floor and this is just a little piece of cardboard that I cut off of the box that the quad came in and it's just a little thin piece of cardboard and I set that underneath the front of the quad uh, so that now it thinks level is that angle and so when, when it takes off now uh, instead of taking off down the room and you can see I'm not the greatest flyer I'm trying to get it back here closer uh, it doesn't take off down the room anymore. It stays pretty much uh, where I where it should hover, and uh, I'll have I'll turn it to the left here in a second, and you can see how uh, once I get it squared away where it's supposed to be in the screen, uh, it just sits there. It hovers, and because it it it's wanting to tilt tilt itself backwards, that's what uh, it's wanting to do. And so you can do this, like I've seen videos of guys say, I don't know why the thing keeps drifting to the left or why it keeps drifting to the right. And you can use a thin piece of paper or a thicker piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. If it's drifting to the, to the left, well, then you would put the cardboard underneath the left side. If it's drifting to the right, you put it underneath the right side and so forth. But that's a way that you can calibrate it uh, without... Uh, without any without using your phone or anything like that uh, it calibrates and it works great so I want to thank you for watching